in part one of our uh, navigating by NDB videos. We're going to do a basic flying to and from an NDB. We're in the King Air and we'll get up to altitude. You can see right now the needle on the uh, ADF is horizontal indicating it is not receiving a signal. We want to be careful that we don't uh, over temp our, uh, our turbines so we keep the throttle back a little bit and we'll lift off and pretty soon usually within uh, three or four hundred feet uh, above ground level if the station's within twenty or thirty miles you will pick up the signal keep in mind that uh, NDB signals are limited power and typically are not receivable for more than about thirty five miles it's, there are some high powered ones not very many left in the United States but you can see that we were only a couple hundred feet up and the needle did come to life and as we uh, climbed altitude we'll uh, hold this hitting for just a bit that will help uh, increase the angle to the uh, NDB and uh, give us a little bit of a of a look at uh, what it's like to adjust for the course in this case we're going to fly directly to the NDB but we will be making a turn at the NDB much in the way that we uh, do so when turning over a VOR and we'll make a gradual turn to the left until we line up with the, uh, the NDB needle so it's pointing straight ahead notice in the King Air that there is a magenta needle and then on the secondary uh, navigation head there's a single yellow needle. That one I think is a lot easier to see, but sometimes it's handy to look at the magenta needle if you're focused on the center of the console. So this is what things look like on Plan G. You can see we're headed straight for the NDB. We'll take a look at this on uh, the Sky Vector version obviously no moving aircraft here but you can see uh, right down in this section that the final piece is a heading of 156 degrees right now we're about 145 degrees I'll show you this again when we get back in the airplane that's a small turn that we'll make to line us up with the uh, runway at Abbeville interesting that uh, this is not an NDB approach uh, for Ab Abbeville even though it uh, very well could be So we continue to head for the NDB, holding that heading of 145 degrees, which is simply the needle pointing straight up. And when we reach the NDB, we'll make that small turn to the right and fly at a heading of 156 degrees. Staying on course at 145 what we'll notice is is that the needle will flip around to point in the opposite direction with the tail of the needle then uh, facing up and the head facing down your ADF instrument always has the needle pointing towards the NDB As we start passing over the station, you'll notice the needle begins to rotate until it comes to rest on, in exactly the opposite direction. And since we passed over the NDB, we want to make our course change to 156 degrees. And for flying with a radiomagnetic indicator or radio compass style, either VOR or ADF, the technique is to pull the tail and since the tail is upright and we want it to move slightly to the right we will move even more to the right and pull it over until it lines up with 156 degrees as it comes uh, towards that uh, heading we'll turn back and let it settle on in
and it got a little hazy on us and we can see that we're a little bit to the right of course uh, this is probably closer to 155 than 156 and that may well be because the 156 degree heading came from the sky vector chart and we know that the magnetic drift in the 10 years or so since uh, Flight Simulator 10 was born now makes uh, magnetic courses uh, different at least in some areas we can expect a degree or two if not a three or four in some cases a variation from then and now so we'll move over a little bit and line up with the runway and complete our uh, complete our landing look at the Elite Premier Virtual Paint for the King Air and you can see that we got a little bit of a crosswind. So we have a few degrees of crab here and we'll hold that until just ahead of touchdown. And we'll bring her in a little right of center line, not a perfect landing, but we're down safely nonetheless. So in part two we'll fly this same route again except we'll do it a little differently lining up with the NDB and flying straight in. And give us a visit at uh, ElitePremierVirtual.com we got some useful stuff on the website and if you uh, care to sign up you'll have access to that. And you can find us on FS Open, our server address as well as uh, our TeamSpeak address.